What's good, YouTube? It's Anthony back at it with another YouTube video. And in today's video, we have some more unreleased heat with the upcoming Nike Dunk Low 2022 Halloween. And this year, it is a woman's Nike Dunk Low. Patent leather on a Nike Dunk Low is extremely rare. And I know this is the start of many more. This pair is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the orange. It's a really nice bright orange complemented with a nice white toe box and the white behind the swoosh. And that black swoosh is also patent leather. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this pair right here, going over everything you need to know before picking up your pair right around the end of October and near Halloween. So before hopping up the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into this awesome shoe. Starting off, guys, with the box and everything. Got a classic red and white Nike Dunk Low box. This is a woman's size eight, so that would be a six and a half men's. Pretty good sizing for this pair right here, and eight women's is pretty common for a lot of people. So it's just a good size to go for. And um, not necessarily that it flips the most, but definitely easier to sell, at least on my end. I like my clientele and everything. But here we have the sneaker, guys. What is your first impression? I really do love the black swoosh and the orange. The orange on this pair is super, super clean. I just, I don't know. It's kind of like a bright orange versus like a dark orange. Just kind of like that pumpkin look and vibe, you know, with the Halloween and everything. And the black swoosh is not too like strong or anything it definitely makes a statement but that white leather in the middle and on the toe box really does a great job of complementing the overall shoe so it's not like too much patent so i feel like if the white was a patent leather things would be different and just kind of more of like a brighter and just kind of flashier shoe but going on to the back and everything i really like the stitching super clean stitching no like false like uh, quality control or anything the Nike and then brighted black, super sweet stitching, nice midsole and this white midsole, white stitching, the outer soles and this nice orange color again with the Nike and the minimal stars on Nike Dunk Clothes versus the Jordan 1s. A little bit more rundown than the Jordan 1s, you know, but the deal is that your size tag is in, let's see, this is the left shoe, so it's in the inner side right here. Kind of hard to see and everything, but, um, you know, it's it's there deep in there. Insole and everything is this nice orange color with the Nike sign right there and the uh, the white color. You kind of have these like silk laces on top and this nice orange. No additional laces for the sneaker. I feel like orange really does a good job of like fitting it. And I suppose you could put like black laces in it, but I think that would kind of take the like the eye off the general shoe and just kind of make the laces the focal point. Which really I don't know if you want to do that. But the laces are this nice orange color. I really do like the silk. Kind of just makes it more popping and everything but um yeah i mean super sweet love this shoe right here this pair is going to be cold crazy i know we had the halloweens like last year super sweet and we also had some air force ones that was also another good cop but now we have this patent leather dunk i feel like this year a lot of people are going to be going crazy about it and i'm not too sure if there's extended sizing for men's but i really hope they don't stop off at 12 women's because that would be super unfortunate so I'm looking to pick up a personal pair when it comes to time. Hopefully, you know, for retail and everything, this pair should be like, I don't think it necessarily would be a GR release like on your foot lockers and everything, but there is a good chance that they will. Sometimes for like Halloween exclusives or anything, they don't put it on like apps and like DTLRs, your snipes, your app raffles and stuff like that, but definitely a good chance on your Nike sneakers app and a bunch of other retailers locally and online, definitely online and stuff, just a lot of Shopify sites. We'll have pretty good stock and everything, but your chances of like versus the box and everything, I don't know. Sometimes it's just luck and everything. And with the bot cancellations and everything, you might have a good chance at picking up a pair. But beneath the um the, the orange laces, you got this nice white tongue on the outside, super sweet. And then like your um your information right there, whatever it is, your shoe uh shoe tree and like wrapping to keep it intact and everything super sweet shoe i would rate this shoe like first impression it was like a 10 out of 10 and like looking at it and being able to wear it i say eight and a half out of ten patent leather at least the patent leather isn't on the toe box because the patent leather looks horrible when you crease it and everything i feel like this is going to do a good job of just wearing and everything and the overall white like uh, leather quality isn't like too poor or anything you know versus like a lot of dunks because dunks have just been going crazy lots of different colorways we have seen so many and make sure you check out this video in the upcoming week. We got this pair, and then we have the lottery pair in the green, and also the like the white and gray coming in pretty soon. And then we have the Zen Masters 
this is an absolutely beautiful pair of Jordan 4s. So we got a lot of heat guys coming on this channel, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm always bringing you guys the greatest and earliest heat, you know. You know the deal for that, guys. But resale right now on the StockX and GOAT, just for reference, StockX. Prices are a little bit low. I know it is still, like, pre-release. Maybe a lot of people haven't, like, found out about the sneaker yet. But prices right around, like, that 150 to, like, 140. Actually, 140 to 160, depending on the size. Super low. I feel like that's kind of, like, underrated. I feel like prices are definitely going to go up to about 160 to like 200 just to be sure of that. I feel like it's definitely just undervalued right now. And once more people gain knowledge about it coming up to October, prices are definitely going to shoot up. And of course, this pair right here does fit true to size, so get your normal size. But be careful, it is a woman's pair. So if you wear a size 7 men's, you're going to have an 8.5 woman's. Just like that, guys. Pretty simple. Just be careful when you're buying your pair. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. My name is Anthony Otillo, and I'm out. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more heat. Peace.